breaking news, chaotic moments as police catch up with an escaped prisoner and kill him, but his partner in crime is still on the run. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Maurice has the night off. The shooting of fugitive Richard Matt happened this afternoon in the town of Malone, New York, just 10 miles from the Canadian border and about 40 miles northwest of the Clinton Correctional Facility where he escaped from three weeks ago. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco is following the story. There was a gunshot that was fired at a camping trailer. The state police responded. That response captured on this cell phone video as police raced down Route 30 toward Malone, New York, finally closing in on one or both escape prisoners, Richard Matt and David Sweat, after 21 days on the run. Governor Andrew Cuomo says those gunshots led police to a cabin. They detected the smell of gunpowder and the Customs and Border Patrol tactical team helicoptered in. That's when the tactical team shot and killed Matt. I can tell you they verbally challenged him, told him to put up his hands, and at that time, you know, he, he was shot when he didn't comply. They recovered a 20 gauge shotgun with him, but his fellow escapee Sweat, nowhere to be found. The last positive sighting of Sweat um, at the time of his escape. Earlier today, New York State Police said Franklin County was their primary area of focus. Officials felt confidence in evidence gathered. Late Wednesday night, we received a report of a break-in of a, uh, a cabin uh, off Route 41 in the town of Malone. Uh, a screen had been cut and a window was broken into. The pair of convicted murderers broke out of the maximum security Clinton Correctional Facility on June 6th using power tools, leaving behind dummies in the beds in their adjoining cells and a taunting note for officials to find. Since then, multiple law enforcement agencies with thousands of officers have combed the woods, railroad tracks and areas near the Canadian border in search of the convicted murderers. These are dangerous, dangerous men. Police say evidence was recovered that suggests Matt and Sweat have been together since escaping and even together up until this afternoon, according to sources. Sources also tell CBS that Sweat may be armed. Live in the newsroom, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. All right, Tracy, thank you. And